Lululemon, one of the companies that has been benefiting from the work from home trend this year, as people gravitate towards comfortable work from home clothing, at least on their bottoms, <laughs> the bottom halves of them. Um, Lululemon saw a 22% gain in revenue in the quarter, but it did not give a forecast. Perhaps that's why the company stock is down a little bit um, here today, down, I think, by about 4%. Brian Sazi, I know you pay very close attention to this company. Um, is it that sort of lack of guidance, do you think, that is disappointing to investors? Was there anything else in the report that wasn't going as planned? Uh, if anything, um, uh, what I'm seeing out there in the street this morning, Julie, uh, their guidance. Now, they're looking for close to high teens sales growth in the fourth quarter. Believe it or not, the street was somewhat higher than that. Some estimates I saw, they were looking for over 20 percent growth for the holiday quarter. But let's keep in mind here, uh, Lululemon absolutely blew it away. Any other retailer in the mall would absolutely kill for results like this. Sales momentum definitely hit it out of the park. Same store sales up 19 percent total same store sales. Uh, sales from Mira, that's the uh, the digital business, digital fitness business they bought over the summer for $500 million. That's on track for a, a $150 million in sales uh, this year. That is pretty good. I think that's a little bit better than some of the analysts on the street were looking for. But perhaps most importantly here, market share. Uh, they noted, they cited some NPD data uh, on the earnings call last night. They gained 1.4 uh, points in terms of market share. When I see stuff like that, sure, it reflects the environment we're in. But that is share away from Apollo Ralph Lauren. That is share away from a Macy's and whatever the, the junk they sell on their, on their shelves. That is a just a fundamental shift in what men and women are wearing uh, during the pandemic and what might they continue to wear as they look to go back to work next year. Uh, Miles, you and I were, were joking a little bit about this, too. Uh, on the conference call, they noted they're seeing guys start to go back to fixed waistband pants from those loose fitting joggers which was was interesting uh, and a key trend to watch uh, and, watch and translate forward. fixed fixed waist means it has a button something has a zipper a, something with a button and a zipper that you would probably not be wearing to bed every night you have put worn these joggers to work you have slept in them you have rin rinsed and repeated uh pardon the pun uh in in the morning to go to work uh, but it is interesting that now they have started to see that shift i i would assume as more people slowly slowly return to the office but ultimately guys that begs the other question here how sustainable is what lululemon has done this year into really into next year does this uh this athleisure wear does this trend continue into next year it, it's it's a little bit unclear well, and Sazi, I, I do want to stay on the men's business because that has been an area of Lulu's business that they have called out as a strength for them uh, for a number of years now. It's really been, if you if you look at the stock over the last you know five years, you've got a couple of movements in there. The management change was positively received by investors. They got rid of the shearing issue, which was positively received. But the gain they've made with men's has been a major part of this latest rally. Um, and, and I think some of their commentary, you know, say what, what's putting the stock under pressure, certainly the recent performance. But, um, you know, it, the stock did peak four months ago. And, and I think if you look at the way they talked about the men's business, I got a question about this on the call that the men's growth rate was a little bit slower than the overall business. But they did reiterate their goal to double that part of their business by 2023. And so, um, you know, Saz, we're kind of you know, trying to poke holes in a really good story here. And I guess that's the job of the media. It's the job of analysts. Um, and certainly if you've owned Lululemon for a couple of years, you don't really care. The stock's down 5% today. But um, I am curious to see, and you mentioned, you know, the the fixed pants, you know, the ABC pants um, that you go and you, you get tailored there because they're all same length. Um, I'm curious to see if the return to work, return to normalcy, maybe slows down some of that growth in the men's segment that, again, had really been a key driver for a brand that for so long was associated primarily with female customers. Uh, Miles, there, to your point, there is a real men's business here. Uh, same store sales in the most recent quarter up 14%. Men's business for Lululemon wasn't really uh, talked about much three, five years ago. It's a legit business starting to generate big time money. I will note this too, maybe for a broader uh, look at retail, they did talk about in the call, they're seeing capacity constraints uh, in their store. So what that is, obviously that's because of COVID-19. Malls are cracking down, states are cracking down on how many people could be in the stores. Uh, I would be concerned to start to see that uh, at other retailers in the final few weeks of the holiday season and how that ultimately impacts their fourth quarter earnings.